very well. Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary cellist? No, with the dashing suitor you just met by the refreshments. Me. You? I'm the perfect person to practice on. You don't have to be embarrassed, you know me. That's exactly why I will feel even more embarrassed, because I know you. Hello everyone, and welcome to the English lesson with the Bridgerton series. New words for today are pretend, flirt, imaginary, dashing, suitor, refreshments, and many others. Let's watch and learn. Very well. Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary cellist? Pretend means to act like something is true when it is not. For example, if you pretend to be a doctor, you act like you are a doctor even though you are not. Flirt means to show someone that you like them in a playful or romantic way. Penelope asks Colin if she should say nice things about a certain man or show interest in him. Imaginary means something that is not real and exists only in your mind. Cellist means a musician who plays the cello. Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary cellist? No, with the dashing suitor you just met by the refreshments. Dashing means very attractive and full of confidence. It is often used to describe someone, usually a man, who looks handsome and charming. Suitor means a man who wants to marry a particular woman. Refreshments means drinks and small amounts of food served at a social event. No, with the dashing suitor you just met by the refreshments. Me. You. I'm the perfect person to practice on. You don't have to be embarrassed, you know me. Embarrassed means feeling shy, awkward, or ashamed. It's when you feel uncomfortable because you think you've done something wrong or silly. You don't have to be embarrassed, you know me. That's exactly why I will feel even more embarrassed because I know you. In the clip, Penelope feels nervous about talking to people, so Colin helps her practice by pretending to be a suitor. He encourages her to speak freely. Let's continue to watch the next segment of the conversation. <sighs> Forgive me, it is only... Deep inside, I know I can be clever and amusing, but somehow my character gets lost between my heart and my mouth, and I find myself saying the wrong thing, or more likely, nothing at all. Now, we'll look closer at this part of the clip and learn new words and expressions. <sighs> Forgive me, it is only... Deep inside, I know I can be clever and amusing, but... The expression, deep inside, I know, means that you feel something strongly in your heart or mind, even if you don't always show it. It's about understanding your true feelings or beliefs. Clever means being quick to understand or learn things. A clever person can easily think of smart and interesting ideas. Amusing means something that makes you smile or laugh. For example, a funny joke or a silly story can be amusing. Deep inside, I know I can be clever and amusing, but... Somehow my character gets lost between my heart and my mouth. Character means the way someone thinks, feels, and behaves, which makes them different from others. In the clip, Penelope talks about how her character can get lost when she speaks, meaning her true self doesn't always come out. Somehow my character gets lost between my heart and my mouth, and I find myself saying the wrong thing or more likely nothing at all. Now we will continue and watch the next part of the conversation. Forget what is wrong or right. Imagine what you would want to say to me if I were a suitor, without concerning yourself with how I might receive it. Here, 
Here, we do not have any difficult vocabulary, but there are some interesting expressions to learn. Forget what is wrong or right. Forget what is wrong or right means to not worry about making mistakes or following rules for a moment. Colin encourages Penelope to speak or act freely without being afraid of doing something wrong. Forget what is wrong or right. Imagine what you would want to say to me if I were a suitor, without concerning yourself with how I might receive it. Concern yourself means to worry or think about something. In the clip, Colin tells Penelope not to worry about his reaction or what he thinks. Without concerning yourself with how I might receive it. Let's continue to watch the next segment of this conversation. Your eyes. A most remarkable shade of blue. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. I, I might say something like that if you were a, a suitor. Mm. Well, that was uh, rather direct. Um. Um. <clears throat> Now, we will look closer at this part and learn more new words. Your eyes. A most remarkable shade of blue. Remarkable means unusual or special and therefore surprising and worth mentioning. Shade means a slight variation or degree of a color. For example, blue can have many different shades, like light blue or dark blue. A most remarkable shade of blue. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. Somehow means in a way that is not clear or known. It's used when you know something happened, but you don't know exactly how it happened. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. I, I might say something like that if you were a, a suitor. Mm. Well, that was uh, rather direct. Um. Rather means quite, to a slight degree, or a little bit. Direct means being honest and straightforward in what you say or do. In the clip, when Penelope gives a compliment about Colin's eyes, he says that she spoke honestly and without hesitation. Well, that was uh, rather direct. Um. Um. <clears throat> All right. Now that we've learned some new vocabulary, let's put it into action. Get ready to watch the clip again, this time without subtitles. See if you can recognize and understand the words we've just learned. Very well. Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary cellist? No, with the dashing suitor you just met by the refreshments. Me. You. I'm the perfect person to practice on. You don't have to be embarrassed. You know me. That's exactly why I will feel even more embarrassed, because I know you. Wait, before you continue watching this video, because I know you will, three things. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Keep practicing. <sighs> Forgive me, it is only... Deep inside, I know I can be clever and amusing, but somehow my character gets lost between my heart and my mouth, and I find myself saying the wrong thing, or more likely, nothing at all. Is everything okay? Are you understanding the lesson so far? Keep practicing. Forget what is wrong or right. Imagine what you would want to say to me if I were a suitor without concerning yourself with how I might receive it. Is everyone following along all right? Any questions or confusion? Write in the comment. Your eyes. A most remarkable shade of blue. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. I, I might say something like that if you were a, a suitor. Mm. 
Well, that was uh, rather direct. Oh. Um. <coughs>